Game 2 between the St. John Riptide and Island Storm takes place at Harbor Station and the Riptide are looking to put a strangulation hold on the series by going up 2-0. That's something the Storm definitely doesn't want to see and they'd love nothing more than to steal this one to swing home court advantage in their favor. Jahi Carson had a great game one scoring 34 and dishing out 7 assists and he finds Al Richter on the perimeter for the 3 ball. More from Richter in a bit. The Storm clearly made adjustments in an effort to make sure that Double A didn't get open looks from three like he did in game one. Here he gets fouled going to the basket and was looking for continuation, but the rest weren't going to give it to him. Horace warmly shovels a pass into Chris Commons for the simple lay-in. Gabe Freeman hits this jumper. AJ Stewart nails this Jimmy at the 330 mark, and now all five Storm starters have hit the score sheet and we're still in the first quarter. Richter drills another three, and this time from the corner, and considering he went one for six in game one, Coach Salerno has got to be pleased. Both Chris Commons and Gabe Freeman did what they could to cut into the Storm's double-digit lead. First Commons with a hop-step move to score under the basket, Freeman with a sweeping hook shot for the score, and then Gabe tips in this missed basket by his teammate Darren Menzi for two. Rashad Wack had a great quarter. First he hits this three over the outstretched arm of the defender, and then with seconds left in the half, steals the inbounds and nails another three-point shot. The Storm take a 45-28 lead into the break. Hakeem Ellis opens up with a three in the second half and keeps the pressure on from way downtown. Brian Addison kicks out to an open Anthony Anderson who bangs in a three ball, but the Storm put the pressure on right away and Al Richter races down to the other end of the court to get the hoop and the harm. Horace Warmly wasn't about to give up and he crosses in the lane and gets the and one. We saw Brian Addison do this in game one and he forces a steal again and gallops down the other way for the two-handed slam. The Riptide bench knows that time is running out and they need big plays or this series will be all tied up. Horace warmly knows that too which is why he gets on his horse after the Al Stewart steal to deliver the chase down block. As great as that was, it wasn't enough as the Storm worked the ball around to an open Rashad Whack, three ball and then Jahi Carson attacks the paint for an easy score and the 21 point lead is maintained. The Storm would go on to even up the series at one game apiece and take home court advantage as the scene now shifts to Charlottetown for the next two.